Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. In our today's video, ang gagawin natin is yung introduction to Circle. This topic is quite popular to those students who are taking up pre-calculus at yung pinaka-focus nila ngayon is yung conic section. And then, yung iba naman sudyante ay na-experience to or dinidiscuss to kapag ang subject naman nila is analytic geometry. So without further ado, let's start discussing Circle. So, we have here a conic section, kung mapansin nyo. And then, paano ba na-form ang isang circle? Uh, imagine, meron tayong isang plane na cut through the conic section horizontally. At itong pulang to, this one, ay tinatawag natin circle. By definition, circle is a set of all points in the xy plane that are fixed distance from R from a fixed point HK. So, punta muna natin. Yung sinasabi nitong XY plane, kasi nga po, yung ating circle, it revolves around the Cartesian coordinate system. Meron tayong X-axis and Y-axis. This is your X-axis. This is your Y-axis. At yung fixed distance naman na R na nakalagay dyan, that is your radius. At yung fixed point naman natin of the circle, yung HK, that is the center of the circle. So, you have here an example na kung saan, kung mapansin nyo, meron tayong graph ng isang circle, where in yung different parts ng circle ay pwede natin ma-explain. So, you have here this one, yung nasa gitna, this is your center, at ang kanyang coordinates are H and K. And then, yung R naman natin, this one, ay tinatawag natin radius. So, Yan yung mga basic parts na meron tayo sa circle. So, by the way, sa ating coordinates ng center natin, which is HK, di ba normally, ang alam natin ay yung X and Y. Yung H natin, it corresponds to the X coordinate. At yung K naman natin, it corresponds to the Y coordinate. So, dapat hindi kayo malito dyan. So, let's move on with other information about circle. Meron tayong tinatawag na standard form of a circle. At yung kailangan nyo tatandaan kasi ay importante ito kapag pinag-aaralan nyo na yung circle sa conic section. Ang standard form natin of a circle is the quantity of h, the quantity of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. At yung center natin is hk, your radius is r. And then another form na importante when it comes to circle ay tinatawag natin general form which is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero. So ngayon, another trivia lang kasi meron tayong apat na klaseng topic or conic section. Ngayon, paano natin malaman whether the given equation is a circle? So dito, mag-focus tayo dito sa standard form. Trivial lang naman to. Malalaman natin circle siya kapag yung coefficient, yung coefficient dito, yung number dito, ng ating x squared sa y squared ay parehas. So, commonly, ano siya, 1. Or wala siya nakasulat. Parang ganyan lang. Invisible lang. Pero, meron din naman mga circle na merong coefficient. Let's, for example, 5 and 5. Kapag parehas yan, automatic, that equation belongs to a circle. Okay. So, yun ang tatandaan nyo. Again, may laman yung circle yan kapag ang coefficient ay parehas. Dito, let's for example, 1, 1. Ay circle yan. 2 and 2 is another example of circle. So, another thing about circle ay meron tayong shortcut. Kapag given yung general form ng isang circle, and then pinapahanap sa inyo yung center, you can use this formula. Yung center natin can be found using negative d over 2 comma negative e over 2. E yung mga shortcuts na meron tayo. So, meron ako dito isang problem na kung saan gagawin natin para mas maging malalim yung ating understanding about circle. And then later on sa mga ibang videos pa natin na i-upload, we will discuss some of the topics na meron tayo about circle. So, sabi dito, graph the circle given the quantity of x plus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared is equal to 16. So, in graphing a circle, ang importante mahanap natin ay yung 
Una, yung center. At yung radius and circle. So, paano ba natin kukunin yung center natin? Yung center natin ay may representation bilang h, k. And remember, yung ating standard form ay x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, para makuha natin yung center, pansinin nyo to ha, gamitin natin yung red ink, this is positive 2. Pero yung h natin dito is negative sa ating standard form. So, ang gagawin natin, i-flip lang natin yung sign ng 2 para makuha natin yung h. If that is positive 2, that will be negative 2. Yan ngayon yung h natin. Again, if this is positive, ang gagawin mo, ang gagawin mo lang siya negative. Pero, sir, what if negative 2 yung ating number dyan? Ang gagawin mo, i-flip mo yung sign magiging positive. But, in our case, we have here positive 2. That's why ang h natin is negative 2. I-flip mo lang yung sign. If that is positive, gawin mo negative. Now, let's move on with the value of k. This is negative 4. And look at this one. Negative yung k natin. Kaya ang gagawin mo, i-flip mo ngayon yung negative 4. Yung sign ng negative 4, that will become positive 4 or 4. So, ang ating center is located at negative 2, comma 4. So, kailangan na lang natin na yung radius. Yung radius natin is r ay makakuha natin gamit to. So, r squared is equal to 16. Pero ang kailangan natin ay r. Meaning, we need to extract the roots or the square root of r squared and 16. So, ang square root ng r squared ay r. Okay na yan. And then, yung square root ng 16 ay 4. Therefore, the radius of the circle is r. So, paano ngayon natin i-graph kapag meron na tayong center na negative 2 and 4 tapos yung radius. Unahin mo yung graph ay yung center mo which is negative 2 and 4. So, we have here negative 1 negative 2 negative 4 and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So, yan yung magiging basis natin. So, ang center natin ay nandito. Okay. Yan. Tama ba ako? Negative 2 and 4. Brain na natin to. Tapos, gamit ang yung radius, mahanap muna yun. Pwede mo na drawing ngayon yung circle natin. So, ang ginagawa ko rito, ay nag, from the sun, from the center, since meron tayong radius na 4, at equal naman yung sa buong circle, so mag-move ko dito ng 1, 2, 3, 4 units. So, ganun ang gagawin ko. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ito yung isang point ko. And then, another thing, manual yung aking ano, pag-graph. So, dito, from this one, pataas naman tayo. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, Sa left side naman, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then sa, from the center, papunta naman sa baba, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ganyan yung ginagawa ko manually. Pwede, pwede yung gamit ng compass. So, dito naman, i-coconnect natin to Para mapag-create tayo ng isang circle. Yan. So, pasansyahan nyo na, baka hindi ako makagawa ng isang Maka isa circle. Yan. Tutin nga natin para mas maging maayos. Yan. Meron na tayong circle. So, yan nga yung circle natin. Wala. Okay, sorry. Yan. Extend lang natin. This is your circle with a radius of 4. Drawing natin. So, get the label. R is equal to 4. At ang iyong center ay 
negative 2, comma, 4. This is the graph of that given problem. So, I hope na natuto kayo sa ating video tutorial. Though, medyo naninibago sa pag-graph ng circle gamit itong aking a device. And then, um, keep on watching our YouTube videos kasi tomorrow, next time, I will be uploading uh, the topic on how to write the standard form of the equation of a circle. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming.